a Russian election candidate has noted his anti-war stance publicly and vocally in an action that has had others before him jailed. News.com has learned that Boris Nadezhdan uttered his sentiments in front of the wives of mobilized soldiers and dubbed Vladimir Putin's so-called special military operation a big mistake. Nadezhdan even went as far as telling these wives, who according to Current Time TV, are demanding the return of their husbands, not a single one of the stated goals of the SVO has been fulfilled and is unlikely to be achieved without huge damage to the economy and an irreparable blow to Russia's demography. Nadezhdin who is a self-professed principled opponent of the policies of the current president has also postured himself as an anti-war candidate. While, at the time of writing, Nadezhdin still has his liberty, Verstka Media, an independent Russian news outlet, claimed that his days in the political race are numbered. The publication notes that at first, Nadezhdin, was a candidate agreed upon with the Kremlin, but then spoke not only against the North Military District, but also against Vladimir Putin, and for this reason, he has lost his support. In order to be officially recognized, Nadezhdin will need to garner 300,000 signatures. He has yet to accumulate the latter and present them to the Central Election Commission, but rumor has it that said commission has already made up its mind on whether he will pass that stage. Vertska Media claims the Election Commission will likely refuse to register Nadezhdin and raise questions about the quality of the collection of signatures. In the context of the failure suffered by the last disqualified electoral candidate, Yekaterina Dunsova, this outcome is not far-fetched. News.com reported on December 21, 2023, that Dantsova announced her decision to enter the race. She postured herself as an advocate of a peaceful and humane Russia that was ready to cooperate with everyone on the basis of mutual respect. Along with being everything that Putin is not, Dantsova made it clear that she was not an advocate of the war in Ukraine, but at the same time was careful not to slur Putin or his so-called special military operation. News.com reported later, However, the Central Electoral Commission rejected her application, citing mistakes in documents according to Russian television reports. The Commission's chief, Ella Pamphilova, stated that the members unanimously rejected Dunsova's bid to stand in the March 17 vote, which Putin is expected to win comfortably. The reason for the latter was the alleged mistakes in her application documents. Dunstova responded by vowing to dispute the motion. We are, being, deprived of the opportunity to have our own representative and express views that differ from the official aggressive discourse, she claimed. Dunstova's attempts to get back into the race, if any, have thus far not been documented.